Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Now let's jump in and see what these cards have to say today. All right, Taurus. Very interesting. So you about to hit jackpot. <laughs> you about to hit jackpot, Taurus. Material and spiritual prosperity with the Six of Pentacles is exactly what it says. To the Ace of Wands, there is a new beginning, a new spark, Taurus. There's a new spark in your sense of well-being. Look at that to the Eight of Pentacles. Because of all of the hard work that you've done, there is a new opportunity about to about to surface for you justice uh, this is your just desserts taurus um, you have worked on this towards this you've worked hard on this whatever this is for you you have put in some toil to be in a position where you are going to reap the benefits of your hard work somehow mm -hmm. the world card this whole, your whole everything, fixing a change. Look at that to the Knight of Swords. I think you're going to get a phone call. I think you're going to get a phone call or a message of some sort that is going to change absolutely everything in your life. The Eight of Cups, emotional withdrawal. The Eight of Cups is a card in the upright about emotional escapism, about... Um, emotional abandonment okay so what this is saying is that you need to emotionally abandon five of swords some kind of mindset that you have in order to come to terms with this new deal that's coming towards you the page of cups this is the offer right this is a message page of cups king of swords in reverse to the eight of swords i think this is a message from someone that you have had a bad time with in the past mm -hmm. whether it's a job whether it's a relationship whether it's family friends there's some aspect of your life that you have a bad taste about that is about to come around full circle to you Again, the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving and sharing in the prosperity of life. The Queen of Wands, success, the pursuit of achievement and success, someone who is going to help you succeed, perhaps, to the Two of Wands. It's right around the corner, and it's coming to the Hierophant, and it is a major, major leveling up of your soul understanding of the way that life is. The Hierophant talks about commitments, obligations. This situation that is coming up is going to be some kind of commitment in your life. A contract, a commitment, an obligation, something that is important to you, something that is meaningful to you, something that, that feeds your belief systems. There is a huge, gigantic offer coming to you that is going to change everything spiritual union and it is just that could it be love it could be it could be just simply a soulmate that's that is preparing to come into your life why the fool to point you in the direction that you need to go mm -hmm. and a soulmate doesn't always have to be love at all ever someone that you know in the soul neighborhood is bringing you an opportunity that is going to be the catalyst of something gigantic. Something gigantic. The Ten of Wands. And I asked what it was. And it is going to lift your burden. The burden that you are currently under, finances possibly, is about to be lifted. Intuition. They need you to listen real carefully. Ace of Pentacles, because they're going to bring this situation to your attention, okay? The star, this is part of your path, it's part of your purpose, obviously, because there is some kind of soulmate involved to the Ten of Cups, and it is going to bring you a great deal 
of emotional fulfillment. Great deal of harmony, alignment, emotional satiety to the Knight of Wands. And it's going to be a brand new direction. It's going to be a new direction, a new thing, a new something in your life. It's all brand new. To the Emperor, this Emperor, um, I believe, is you, okay? I don't think it's the person. It could be, okay? This Emperor could be the person that is facilitating this whole opportunity for you. But I think this Emperor is you, bossing up, taking control, working hard, doing what it is that you need to do, moving and shaking and getting things to a point where you can now reign over this micro empire that you have created for yourself. Three of Wands talks about some foresight, talks about the future, it talks about preparation, it talks about expansion. Your life is about to glow up. And then the Six of Cups comes on top of this and talks about everything that makes you happy. Maybe having enough money for your family. Maybe having enough resources to fulfill dreams. Maybe, look at that, Ace of Cups. Maybe it is a relationship that's going to give you the warm fuzzies of the, of the Six of Cups, the Ace of Cups, the King of Cups, and the High Priestess. Whatever this is, is absolutely gigantically significant in your life, Taurus. It is significant for your life and your future. Your whole everything is about to change with one phone call. Wow. There you go, Taurus. Namaste.